what's up you guys, Stoutmeister here, and yes, we are going to be talking about this bandwagon again. The lovely bandwagon of blaming violent video games for the recent tragic events of Sandy Hook and the Boston bombings. I was watching a recent video from one of my favorite YouTuber game reviewers and ranters, Alpha Omegason, and he was talking about the infamous Joe Biden. Yes the Vice President of the United States under the wing of current President Barack Obama. The same Vice President that whispered into Barack Obama's ear, this is a big fucking deal, and he didn't know his mic was on, and as a result, got a swear jar from McKay Hatch, the leader of the No Cussing Club. The same Joe Biden, who looks like he's making use of the taxpayer money for numerous facelifts, but I better not talk about his facelifts because that will just hurt any other point that I make in this video at all, so yeah. So Mr. Joe Biden is proposing taxing violent video games, violent video games, for the simple reason that he genuinely feels that there is a link between violent video games and human behavior when similar studies have been used for books and music some time ago. And guess what? There is no correlation between these forms of entertainment and human behavior. The only connection that they've had is that they like the book or they like that musical artist. But do you know what was a link with these individuals that caused these terrible acts? Mental illness? bullying, parental negligence, the same things that affected Eric and Dylan, for example, the two motherfuckers that shot up Columbine, and, oh, they liked Marilyn Manson, and they liked the video game Doom. All of a sudden, let's take the focus away from mental illness and family life, and let's just focus on this violent form of entertainment just because it's violent. The same thing with the individual that shot up Sandy Hook and other individuals that have either shot up or killed other people or have killed themselves. Taking something that was a favorite of theirs and just saying, oh, this might have caused that individual to go ape shit and kill a bunch of people. Yeah, these politicians are clearly not qualified to talk about such issues as this, and they shouldn't be. And whatever attorney and whatever psychiatrist agrees with these views should have their degrees stripped from them and they shouldn't even be worthy of working at a fucking McDonald's. Yep, you politicians just love pulling on the purse strings of the people that are mourning for the loss of the victims that were affected in Sandy Hook. What these modern day politicians are proposing with the taxation of violent video games is not much different from what the PMRC and what the government was trying to do with heavy metal music back in the 1980s, but they've been proven wrong time and time again about the link between music and human behavior so much that, oh, let's find another scapegoat so that we can use that plus whatever tragedy happens and do background research on what forms of entertainment this individual that shot up a bunch of fucking people liked so that we can use that and promote our political agendas of outlawing what we don't like, and if we can't outlaw that form of entertainment immediately, we'll tax the shit out of it, and we'll use constant taxpayer money to make propaganda ads about how these forms of entertainment are bad, and we need to protect you from such violent acts of entertainment. Because you politicians know goddamn well that if you outlaw something like video games, music, and movies immediately, there's going to be a huge uproar. So you use opportunities like this to promote taxation on forms of entertainment, for example. Or if you want to tax on anything in general. I've played violent video games most of my life, but I didn't go to the mature rating type of violence immediately. I went on from Toy Story 2 and A Bug's Life on the Nintendo 64 to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, which you're starting to get a little bit violent there, but it's still E for everyone, so you're not going to get gore or anything too graphic. 
Then you go on to Grand Theft Auto, you go on to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Assassin's Creed, Skyrim, and so on and so forth. I've never killed anybody, I've never hurt anybody for the sake of hurting them. I've been a pretty good person overall. Oh, and I'm also trained in Judo, Karate, Boxing, and shooting firearms such as pistols and shotguns, but that was obviously because of video games. Uh, I wouldn't do such things to protect myself or protect the ones that I care about at all. But yeah, this tax idea is just bad in general, and if it goes through, it's just going to be another waste of taxpayer money thanks to the government. And like we need any more taxes right now considering the fact that although they're trying to get the minimum wage up to $9, here's the problem. The cost of living is going up and in California there were talks of a gallon of milk going up to $8 a gallon because of the hyperinflation about how we're losing the value of the dollar in the United States and how we should have never left the gold system. Yeah, yeah, more taxes sounds like a great idea now, doesn't it, you guys? Hypothetically speaking, Mr. Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and all you other politicians that want to tax all forms of entertainment in general, more specifically video games this generation, let's say that there are studies that are going to be done by video game developers, doctors, scientists, psychologists, psychiatrists, so on and so forth. And let's say that you are right. There is a connection between violent video games and human behavior, not counting mental illnesses. If you are right, then let's tax cars. You want to know why we should tax cars? Cars can be used for a number of bad reasons, like getaway vehicles for criminals to use to get away from the scene of the crime, or reasons like DUIs, Drinking and driving, where the drunk driver kills an innocent person in a crash. That'll be another good reason to tax cars, even more than the proposed sales taxes that we have on items we sell. Um, you know what else we should tax? We should tax silverware. Because, you know, spoons, forks, and knives make us fat. It is a contribution to the obesity epidemic that is happening in the United States. Do you want to hear my favorite tax idea that I think should be proposed, Mr. Joe Biden and Barack Obama, and every other politician that is in favor of the tax idea that Joe Biden has to offer? I think we should tax every single politician, including the President and the Vice President of the United States of America, for every bad law that is passed in this country. Not only that. We should tax every politician, including the president and the vice president of the United States, for every sex and drug scandal that they get caught in, and also for every vacation that they take, for every facelift that they have, so on and so forth. And if you can't pay off those taxes, you should be stripped of your jobs and be working minimum wage jobs to pay off those taxes, and thus you having to pay taxes like everyone else. I don't think you would like that very much now, would you guys? Mm -mm -mm. And let's say hypothetically that you politicians are proven wrong and that there is no other link between violent video games and human behavior other than the fact that these individuals happen to like that form of entertainment. You know what I think you should do if you're proven wrong? and the fact that violent video games don't cause you to shoot up a bunch of people, you know what I think you should really do? I think you should take note of what my mug has to say in its sexy black bold text that says a giant cup of shut the fuck up. I feel that you need to shut the fuck up and focus on the real issues that are happening in this country right now because I am sick and tired of politicians and activists like you that constantly whore out your political agendas when a tragedy happens for the sole reason of attention. There is a great deal of people that are suffering loss and are suffering the fact that they have loved ones that have had a great deal of damage or have died from said fucking tragedies. Now that I got that venting out of the way, uh, let's drink up from this sexy mug and cheers, motherfuckers. Mm. 
that's some good fruit punch. And today's Thirst Quencher is brought to you by Venom Fruit Punch. It is fucking awesome. That is all I have to say about that. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until then, stay tuned for more videos. Take care, see you later. Cueing Epic Outro Music now.